What's going on guys? This is the uh, first video of the new year. We're going to go over a couple of uh, of uh, people, their questions on YouTube. So this is a question I've been getting a little bit um, from the how to get free leads uh, using county records. Uh, so keep in mind that all the counties are different. You know, most, most, most counties are different. Some use the same sy type of systems, types of file formats, and some don't, don't. So, a uh, question I got from, uh, Jason M and, uh, Mahira, um, saying, hey, um, these, these files look different from what you showed. And like I said, some, some counties use Excel, some use text files, some use, um, some don't offer data lists, you know, data files, and some will do. In this case, we're looking at um, Harris County. So at first, um, when you get to Harris County, uh, there is a property search, but really there's not too much you can get from the single search. We can't not that I can find, can't find ways to uh, extract a list from this. So another thing you want to check, if you've got a pretty big county, is that, and Jason found this, good job Jason, rock on bro, is that uh, you can look under services, resources, something, online services, <coughs> for some public data. Here's public data, as a matter of fact. And looky here, we've got uh, HCAD's public data. Um, it's compressed. Um, so let's see, in, there's instructions um, on how to import text files into the provided empty access tables. Okay. Um, you can download that PDF there, uh, field names, data files, um, and then click this button download and you will see, bam, look at this. We've got a uh, good description, certified values. We've got the empty database access and you'll need, okay, so what access is, it's a database program from Microsoft and it comes in office. So. Uh, if you have Office, you've already got, well, uh, if you have certain uh, versions of Office, some of them don't have access, but uh, if you need it, I'll put a link in the description on how you can get it. The whole thing, Excel, Word, Access, and uh, PowerPoint and all that other stuff, it's just like a, a hundred bucks a year. I mean, you're going to need it anyway, so might as well get it if you don't have it. But side note so here is the access zip file you want to download uh, and what you want to look for um, so, so the access database empty database is what you're going to fill up uh, and I'll show it to you here it's just a container of the data that we want to mine for and then strip it out into an Excel file that you can upload into your CRM I use Podio and I've got a video up hopefully link it somewhere on how to import data into Podio. Um, if not, take a look for it on the videos, it's there. And then once you um, import it into Podio, you export the list back out to create your mailers and your um, labels to mail out to your uh, to your list. So basically what we're doing, if I didn't say it already, is we're creating, um, we're obtaining leads through public records and we're determining uh, to, to be able to mail them, right? So uh, we're getting free leads. It, it takes time, right? We're getting free leads from public record, county, county records, public data. So what we're trying to do in this particular example, I mean, there's lots of ways to do it, right? Lots of ways. But we want to get in a good list is a um, absentee owner list, which is uh, someone that doesn't live in that house, right? So you know that they're uh, written the house at least, right? So uh, you can send them a letter saying, "Hey, um, if you want to get you know rid of your house, give me a call." And that's 
what I do, that's what a lot of people do. That's a big heavy, heavy list. And if, you, if it's hard to find and if it's hard to get, that's good because not a lot of people are doing it. But anyway, back to this. So you got to download the zip file, the access file for the blank field layouts to import the records. And you need to, um, what is this here? The real property, real account owners. So the real account, oops, sorry about that real time so a uh, real account has owner name owner mailing address value site address and legal description so owner mailing address where we're gonna mail the letter to the site address so we want to compare the two right we want to say okay so if they their mailing address is in California but the site address is here in Houston then they're out-of-state landlords and that potentially could be even better because you have out of state landlord and they might be, you know, tired and hassle, you know, with the hassle of doing it. And one way you can target them deeper is to, um, if they've only got one or two houses, then that may be what you're, uh, targeting for. Or if they have multiple, uh, rental properties, then you can target them as well. Um, so, this is the file we want, real account, which is there. Um, the neighborhood code. Okay, so I've downloaded those two. This this access file, this file, and it also says the code descriptions. The code descriptions for the um, properties. So let's look at that real quick. So what we'll need here is in this particular in, in this particular instance we are going to look for um, residential single family homes. So this code is A1. Okay, so there's going to be a state class field, right? And this gets I'll show it to you. It's not as complicated as it looks, but once you, you know, get the hang of it and doing it once or twice, it'll be easy. So the real property codes, what we're looking for are houses, right? Single family houses. And, you know, if, 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 as you get bigger and better, you can look for other things, you know, mobile homes, multifamily, if you're getting into apartments, you know, three family, four family, uh, vacant commercial, all that stuff's in there. So right now we're going to just make it simple. Uh, single family real property. So when we look at the state class, it's A1. So. From there, I down, it takes a while to download their big files, so I have our previously downloaded those files somewhere. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so here's the real account owner. And if you were just, I mean, this is 800 meg. If you were just to open this file, it opens in, in, in a notepad, and it's just garbly goop. It, it's in a, 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 a format where you can't do anything with it, right? Uh, you, you couldn't even do anything with it in Excel either. Um, so the raw file looks like this with just a whole bunch of, I mean, there's nothing you can do. So that's the reason why the county said, well, this is so huge. We need to put it into a database. So they, they chose Access Database, which is fine. It's a Microsoft product, easy to get a hold of. Um, And keeping in mind, you don't need, um, they suggest access, but there are other things, but we'll stick with, with access on this. So let's open up the, where are we at? Harris County. Okay. So I downloaded the access zip and the owner's real account owner zip. Those two files, right? Access, real account owners, those two files. Uh, and I extracted them, right? Extract all, and it created these two files here. So there's the access DB. So I'm going to open this up. And this gives the list of the, the tables. The tables contain the records, right? And so our main table that we're going to, um, and this all, this all come together for you at the end. So just stick around and, and check it out. Um, 
Dun, dun, dun. So, Harris County, and the real account owners. So the table that we're concerned with, this big, huge one, is real account because we have determined that the real account has the real account has the owner information that we're looking for. So PQR real account. This is the table in which that we will be importing the data. So up here. There's uh, some tabs up here, home, create, external data. External data is the one that we're wanting to get, okay? Um, we're wanting to get from that text file, okay? So it says specify the source, okay? So wherever you, you saved it to. In my case, I saved it to uh, Harris County, a real account owner, and real account text, okay? Import the source data into a new table. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to append a copy of the records to the table because there's already the table right here, right? Um, real account. Real account. And say OK. Uh, delimited. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Um, maybe. We'll see. Next. OK, so it's tab delimited. We might have been, if it was tab delimited, we might have been able to open it with Excel just plain out, but uh, it was probably too big. But that looks good. We'll say yes. Next. So import it into the real account table. Yes. Finish. So it's going to take a minute to import that 822. Uh, megabyte, 822,000 kilobytes, so about an 800 megabyte file into this real account table. Um, and when that happens, we will be able to see uh, all the records uh, in a nice format. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that really crappy text file into um, into this database, into the access database, and then uh, filter and format that to get the particular records that we want back into Excel file. I mean, this is what you need to do to get the free lists um, with these counties that use this type of access system. Um, but you know, of course, you can go to like List Source and um, or or some some other. Um, some other list broker and you know you can buy it they're they're pretty cheap too they're like like 50 100 bucks for for a good list i mean but you know everybody goes through those guys um this is a a better way to to create your own because like i said earlier if it's hard for you to do it it's going to be hard for somebody else to do it which and if you can figure it out which i'm showing you how to do it then that will be you'll have you un more unique information uh, so the theory goes, whatever. Check, check it out. So now that we have the external data, we're going to save the import steps called import real account. So you don't have to click through that again, right, the next time you get some. But, you know, either way, I'm going to save the import. And we should see here that there are uh, some... some records in the real account table. There they are. All right. So check it out. Very nice. Account number, tax year. Um, so the mail to, that's the name. Uh, the mail address. Uh, mail address to mail city. Uh, mail state. So this is the mailing address, mailing information. Perfect. Perfect. So we got the mailing information. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. And we are looking for the site information. Okay, so site information. Here we go. Good. So all the site information is Houston because that's the county. Uh, no, is in uh, Harris County. Different cities are in a county. Duh. So uh, here's all your your site information. So that's good. Right there. Bam. All right, so 
what we want to do in this particular instance now there's lots of ways since you have this data that this is a hundred yeah, this is uh, what is this one million four hundred forty two thousand eight hundred forty one records okay so that's probably a little bit big for Excel so what we want to do is we want to um, we want to get our uh, what am I trying to say? We're trying to get a good amount of targeted uh, individuals in which we want to send mailers to. So we don't, obviously don't want too big of a list, and obviously we don't, don't want too small of it. So let's think about what we we'll want to do. So this is going to be a out of state example. So I want to see all the <coughs> uh, sorry about that. All the states, all the mail states that are not Texas. Okay, so this is the mailing. We're going to say select all. I don't know what the blanks are. I don't know what A E E A K. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, that could be out of the country. Who knows? Uh, so we're just going to unclick Texas and see what that gives us. Okay, so that's down to 44,851. Excellent, excellent. But now one other thing, um, what we saw, we wanted homes, right? We wanted single-family homes. So what was that that we looked at? We looked at, do you remember? Code descriptions. We're looking for a state class with a code of A1. Okay. Oh, shit. Shoot. My bad. Sorry. Okay, let me close that. Uh, we don't need to open Excel just yet. So, let's look for state state code, right? State class. My bad. State class. All right. So, state class, and we're looking for A1. So these are all single family residents, right? Single family homes. You got 21,916 in the county of, um, Harris, Harris County. Okay. So this would be fine to export to, uh, to create a list from. So we're almost done here. So we want external data instead of importing it this time, right? Here's the import section, right? This, this line right here. We want to export that to Excel. Okay. So that's the last, um, that's the format in which we want it that, that we're comfortable with to where we can import it into Podio or whatever CRM system you use and then do some reports and stuff on it and be able to export it back out into um, Excel to create the labels and the Word document letters which is in a different video. Okay so Excel we're going to export uh, we're going to call this that's fine real account uh, I don't know if we're going to call that we're going to call that out of state Harris County single family residences okay that's a long one but that will be what I mean, it's better to have a longer name and 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 know what the file really means so here you'll see the little status tip exporting press and hold escape to stop but we're not going to do that um, it's exporting 21,916 records, which is not too bad. We're not going to, and don't think we're going to mail to all those 21,916 records, right? Uh, we are going to do a further um, filtering, right? So, for example, the, um, it's still going, let's see. So, for example, um, if you wanted to, let's, let's look and see, if you wanted to only do um, a city at a time, a zip code at a time, 
Um, okay, so it's exporting now. Uh, you can see the bar here. Um, or if you wanted to filter by, um, it's not going to, uh, any other type of criteria, whether, you know, you wanted just to hit California, uh, owners, you know, they got all the California money, or you wanted to hit a specific, um, neighborhood, even, it's even got neighborhoods in here, um, to, um, to target. So you can, play around in there and uh, see the whole idea is to go from the whole idea of this exercise right is to go from the raw data that uh, the county gives us into Excel file that we use to mail uh, absentee owners with so that's a kind of a long way to go around it but um, but it works. Okay, finally got done. So we're going to save those export steps as well um, in case we need to do that again. So we've got the 21,916. We'll take a look and see in the uh, Excel file. It's down to 9 megabytes, which is very manageable for Excel. So let's take a look here. All right, so looks like format a little bit better. Good. All right. Sounds good. So mail to, mail address, mail city, mail state, everything is is not Texas and we can you can filter this however you want to uh the site address um neighborhood, market market area you know east bel air if you like bel air whatever montrose uh, you can get your own specific list however you want it if you just uh follow those steps and it, it seems like lengthy lengthy steps but not really once you get the hang of it and then um to format this as uh, to output this as a um, to input this into Podio, I've got another video. Um, I'll put the link in there, or you just look for a Podio file if I forget. Or and to create the mailers and mail labels, there's another video as well. I think I said that before, but anyway, there you have it. Um, so that's how in some counties, if they use the access format how you can get and mine data from the, that county and create your own mailing list. Uh, if you liked it, give me a like, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, if there's any other videos that you want to see or uh, anything interesting that you want to um, want me to put uh, create videos on, let me know. I'd be happy to do it. Uh, and as always, be a light, speak truth, change lives, and I wish you much success in your business and in life. Peace.